Welcome everybody to Avon Colony. I am your host and space-based engineer for this evening, the Birdman Node as Falcon. As you can probably gather by the background screens over here and also the title alone, this is indeed a space-based building colony and sim management game. And so far I've had a lot of fun playing this. As you can tell by the screen as well, it's indeed a beta build. Therefore, apparently my save game file was that might be in risk of being lost here. However, this is coming out to the public on September 7th. At the moment, it's available to like uh, press outlets and also the inner testing circles, obviously, but this should be available to everybody on September 7, it does seem. Um, thus far, I've really enjoyed playing this a lot. This is the reason why I'm showing it off. Uh, what's really cool about this, there's a little feature called Alien Creep in the game, where apparently since you are colonizing the very first planet outside of Earth for the very first time, um, you're not too familiar with this planet, obviously, and apparently as the game progresses, this Alien Creep kind of makes itself closer and closer to your colony, and you're supposed to make sure that... Oh my god, look at that monster in the background. Oh shit. Uh, sorry, I'm getting over here. Um distracted now. Uh, but this alien creep apparently slowly makes its way over to your colony, and it could actually overtake buildings in the entire colony altogether if you're not on top of scrubbing it off. And to be honest, that sounds pretty cool. Like, I haven't seen it firsthand just yet, but I can really imagine how cool the colony would look in a very creepy way, mind you, if the entire colony is, like, covered in this alien creep. But that's just me anyway. Uh, for now, let's get into the game over here. Um, before we actually jump into the game, there's gonna be a mission... Welcome to the alien Stop talking game. I'm busy right now talking. There's going to be a mission mode that you could actually pick a few planets, or not planets, but like landing sites and also like seasons. And you kind of have to follow a set guideline in terms of like, you know, goals to be accomplished to progress going forward. There's also a sandbox mode as well. Um, obviously, for the premise of this video, I'm probably doing one or two videos on this right now, just to show off the game to you. If you enjoy it and you want to see some more, do let me know in the comments and by leaving a like, and I'll consider keeping this around in the channel for a bit. Alrighty, so, game runs, um, I have everything maxed out, running at a steady 60 over here. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually ding me once we're further into the game with more stuff built on screen and stuff like that, but right now it's running at a perfect 60. It's on the Unreal 4 engine, so the game is actually quite pretty indeed. Uh, let's see here. For now, let's actually just pause the game momentarily, we have a new mission available. For the missions, they talk a little bit, so I'll try to hush up for that. Welcome to your new colony. Commissioner Veronica is eager to see how you can grow this small settlement on Avon Prime. Here is your first objective. Alright, so, Venar is a small colony in one of the friendlier parts of Avon Prime. Water and plant life are plentiful here, and most crops grow well. First, we'll need a supply of water. Open the water sub menu. Okay, cool. Um, for doing this, we'll actually get 14 nanites. The nanites are going to be required to build just about everything in the game. Um, buildings, farming, you name it. You'll need nanites to actually get everything up and running. You'll need power and water and other stuff for your colonists, but nanites will be mostly just focused on building structures and stuff like that. So, um, we'll get 14. Out of that, at the moment, we have 208. And then this will tell us the population, the air quality at the moment, storage, water, food, stuff like that. What's really cool about this is, let me go over here to the water extraction thing. Um, there's water pump tier 1, and there's also atmospheric condenser. I don't think we want that one. We're going to go with the water pump. Now, as I bring this up, you'll notice that the map itself has different colored tiles. And the, the darker the blue, as you can see, is the more abundance of water, so we have more water being collected in that area. So at the moment, if I place this down here, we get 0.9 water an hour. While if I probably build somewhere over here, 0.5. So you definitely want to look for the best place for it. As you can probably imagine, based on the map, this is also like a little bit of a water area, so the closer to this area, probably the better. However, because this is not collect connected to the colony, it won't um, collect for us, so we have to connect it ourselves. Therefore, I'm thinking we do water pump right over here, and we'll come over to tunnels, and we want to make a tunnel from our colony over to here. And let's actually unpause the game. I gotta get really comfortable with the idea that pa or the space bar does not pause the game. You actually need to hit 1 to pause the game, 2 to go into regular time, 3 for 2 times speed, 4 and up to 8 times speed, but this is all done with the numbers up top, so I'm so used to games giving me the option of space bar as my pause button, so I gotta really get comfortable with that. Uh, at the moment, we really have one drone to um, create stuff for us. I normally like to come over here, which is the space drone section itself, and we'll go to upgrade. As you can see, if I upgrade this by using 12 nanites, or nan nanites, nanites, we'll actually be able to get a second drone. So I will definitely make that investment early on. And now we just gotta wait. And we have, let's see, how many people working here? We have five of our 16 humans working here, which is fine. And soon enough, they'll get the second drone up and running. Alright, cool. 
So that is now up and running. We have some water, and we got a reward for that. 14 nanites, which basically just paid off for the free extra dome we just got right now, which is great. Okay, new missions available. I have a request for you from the inhabitants of the colony. Right. And so far, what I've noticed is that everybody in this um, colony is um, a goddamn looker. Males and females alike. Everybody's good looking at this colony, man. Apparently, we picked the cream of the crop of the Earthlings to come up here to this planet, man. I gotta tell you. Look at this baby girl right here. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted now. Uh, your colonists would like you to increase your food income. Build a farm somewhere near the edge of your colony, adjacent to any existing structure. Alrighty. Uh, you will receive 50 potash, which... <laughs> <laughs> Which your farms can use to accelerate their efforts. Uh, potash. You say 50 here, but over here it says 60 and 6 nanites, so I think you are lying to me, lady. Uh, Alright, so we want to get a farm up and running. This will be down right here. Farming structure. We have the greenhouse. The greenhouse will let you obviously grow during winter, albeit at a slower pace. While the farms in winter time will indeed stop producing, so it's definitely a trade-off what you want to do. But obviously, this also requires six workers. This is only five workers. This requires eight power. This requires five power. So you definitely have to make and pick and choose which one seems more appropriate for you. Uh, let's start off over here with a farm, however, and very much like the water thing, it'll tell you where you want to place this down for the best overall um, growth, I guess. So. Over here we have a uh, 4.8 barley an hour. I don't want barley to start off, but I think I'm going to go with some of the good old corn. I'm a big corn guy, so what can I say? This will be 5.7 corn an hour. 5.4. Over here we have 5.7. Mm, let's actually start off like 5.7 as well. That's near the, the space drone, right? Eh, let's just place it down here then. But it's not connected to the colony. Uh, well, this is 5.7 as well. Perfect. We'll place it right over here. Okay. Get the game running here. And now we have two drones to give us um, a faster building process, obviously. As you can see, that's going up a lot faster than it would just, just one drone alone. Now, stuff that really affects happiness is the amount of variety in the diet. So if all we have like corn and people are just eating corn, they probably won't be too happy. They want variety to make them happy, and the happier they are, the better they work. Oh, speaking of which, I could find out, I could actually keep an eye on my workers too by using the camera systems around my entire base. You could actually select these people. Pleased to meet you, we have Mary Rod. As I told you, look at this baby girl right here. We got a bunch of good-looking individuals here. How you doing there, Zoo Jones? Yeah. And what's really cool, you could actually see where they're heading to, and you could follow them by... You could be a creeper, essentially. And you could follow them by switching to different cameras and see where they're actually headed to. It's really neat. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off really quickly. So we have a new mission over here available. Let me pick up my potash. A new mission is available. Alrighty, we'll need a bit more electricity to expand further. Your colony already has one solar panel. Let's build a second one. Let's do that indeed. This will give us five nanites and also 14 porridge. Ah, nothing like old porridge here. All we need is, um... What's her name? Emily and the Three Bears? I don't know. I, I don't know that. <laughs> I haven't been young in a very long time. I forgot what the how that one goes. The Three Bears. Goldilocks and the Three... Not Emily and the... It's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That's the one I meant. Anyway, solar panel. Um, so, let's see here. This one you can place wherever because it's obviously based on the sun itself and not the surroundings. Um, well, where's the other solar panel at? Right here? I guess we might as well just keep them together. So that'll be done right over there. Great. And as I mentioned about the different type of um, food, since we're over here growing corn at the moment, I want to go ahead and add something new. So let's go into farming structures and we'll do another farm. And let's see, over here this will give us 3.9... Which one did we do first? We did corn, right? Yeah, so I want to go with maybe... Quinoa. Melons. Let's do a little bit of melons too. Get some fruits in here. 6.3 melons per hour? That's not bad at all. Not connected to the colony though. 6.0. I want to kind of keep the farms together as well. 6.0. So the highest one would be 6.3. Hmm... Well, let's actually just sacrifice it a little bit by placing it down right over here. Cool. And let's go ahead over here. We got five nanites and also 14 porridge. Swell. Alrighty, now we need to do some mining. Now we need a source of metal. So let's build a mine. The best um, place to put one is right on top of a big green copper deposit next to your life support module. Show me where that is! It's right there. You can't really miss it, obviously. Um, Alright, so you want me to drill into there. So for this one, there's a bit of interesting um, choices. We have the regular mine, we have the laser mine, and we also have the... This will be to actually turn... We need one of these soon, by the way. We want to take our metals and our copper and turn it into nanites. We actually produce... Uh, we are able to build more stuff. We'll talk about this soon. But we have the laser one, which apparently does require more nanites to build. 
Same amount of workers, however, this lets you extract minerals much faster, however, there's also the downside where it actually also destroys half the minerals in the process, so it's kind of a risky thing for sure, but if you probably need manites really fast, you might want to go with that one, but since we're fine right now, we'll do a regular one, and we'll place this bad boy right over here. Alrighty. So how's our farms looking over here? Pretty good, pretty good, just watering it all down, huh? Very nice. Here's our water pump. I want to get that processor up as soon as possible, too. Um, I, I won't do it just yet because I know that one of the missions is going to be for an NI processor, so I don't want to skip ahead, but we'll need one pretty soon. By the way, our power, electricity, is actually quite low. So what I could do is come over here, maybe, and possibly upgrade you a little bit here. Get some more power. Because as you can see right now, uh, we're obviously not meeting up the amount of power that we do need. So we'll get this upgrade over here to help us out. Well done. I'm pleased. Damn, look at these girls, and I'm telling you. you Ooh, hubba hubba. Uh, we're pleased with your process and decided to offer your colony a choice of additional resources. Do you want nanites, rice, or quinoa? Nanites, I feel, we'll be able to, be able to produce our own pretty soon, so I'm going to go with um, rice to get a little bit of more different type of foods in the colony and keep these people happy. There you go. And now that we upgraded that solar panel, we can now, we're can now we now at 48 to 56, which is a lot better than it was beforehand. Cool. That's done as well. Very nice. We should have another thing pop up here pretty soon. There it is. New mission available. I've consulted with Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to make a few recommendations as to how to best serve your people. As you can see, our storage is about to cap off, which is no good. We need another storage system. I do believe as well the game will have us do that as a mission, so I'm going to wait up, but we're not storing at the moment. Hey, we'll get 20 candy for this one. How about that? Build a, gener a geothermal generator. Okay. Where do you want me to do that? On the steam area? Oh, how surprising that is. Alright, so let's go over here for more electrical power. And I guess, um, had we waited, we probably would have been able to get the power requirement had I not upgraded that, but I just took a step ahead of it beforehand. But this will give us more power, obviously. Um, so we want the geothermal generator. Now, this bad boy over here will indeed, um, pollute the air, so keep that in mind. Um, so we'll place you right over here, which is the, well, and there's another one all the way over here, but that's really, really far, and it's also blocked from us, so I think it wants me to set it up right over here, so place you down like so. The only problem is it's not connected, so we have to go ahead and connect it ourselves. Let's go ahead and connect it through here. And let's speed it up here a little teeny tiny bit. Let's go up to like four times speed. Yeah, yeah we're still at 60. Very nice. Good camera control. Oh, winter warning! Winter's coming, guys. Uh -huh. We had to get our Game of Thrones reference in there. All right, so uh, warning. Winter approaches and our scanners indicate that a power failure is likely in winter unless you take steps to increase your power supply during winter. Farms will not grow crops, greenhouses will grow food at 50% rate, and all solar structures will generate 50% power. Meaning, you know, as I mentioned, probably a good thing we actually got an upgrade to that solar panel. Um, all right, thanks a lot for that. Oh, yeah. Unpause now. Oh, and yeah, you gotta build the connections over there. Um, the tunnels, by the way, they work as a way to not only connect the areas so they actually pass power, but they're also walkways as well. So it's kind of like a two-pronged effect. They're walkways for your people to get to a job site and also a way for you to actually connect one source to the other one in terms of, like, power connections and stuff like that. Alright, so, let's see. Let me get my rewards. 20 candy! Oh, my people must, must love me. Storage is full. No Main good. Mission is available. Alright, we're going to need some more living spaces for our colonists, so this will give me 8 nanites and 22 porridge again. Goldilocks, Falcon, not Emily, it's Goldilocks, dude. So storage, huh? Or not storage just yet, but I, you know, how about we do a storage thing beforehand? What? You guys better give me a storage mission pretty soon. I could do it myself, but I don't want to have, like, two storages then. It might be a little too much. So, um, let's see, we have a habitat and we also have an apartment. An apartment will cost us 16 nanites, it requires 8 power, and it supports 16 colonists. Or, we could go ahead and do this one, habitat. A lot better looking as well. It requires a lot more power, however, and supports 36 colonists. You know what? Let's get a little bit fancy here. I'm going to go with this giant habitat. Why not? If it dings me in the butt later, well, then so be it. It dings me in the butt. So over here, where's the other living quarters at? It's right here, correct? So I want to have like the living quarters kind of together if I can. So maybe like over here would not be a bad thing. Yeah, habitat right over here. I like that one. So, right, right. God damn it, it's not the space bar to unpause, Falcon. It's the numbers up there. That's gonna get me so many times, man. Storage, we'll deal with you kind of soon. Believe me, we will. This will be pretty cool because we'll have, like, an added feature to the colonists. Now, they will reproduce on their own, I want to say, but what we're gonna have to focus on early on is, um... 
immigration center. We want to immigrate people from Earth over to Aven Prime. So that's gonna be our next big thing over here. Oh, you want me to build an apartment? It's not the habitat alone? Oh, dude. I screwed that one up there a little bit then. That's my bad. Okay, so you want an apartment. Well, that's fine. No skin off my teeth. It just means there's gonna be more um, room for immigrants to come in soon. Oh, look at the screen getting all frosty. Winter is indeed here. I like the little small feature. All right, there's your apartment. God damn it. Oh, no, no. This can't be in habitat. It's gotta be an apartment. It's like, all right, fine. There you have it. Hey, that night's in 22 porridge. This little frost feature, I think those goes away after a while, doesn't it? I think. If it doesn't, that's actually kind of cool. I don't mind that they're too much. New missions available. All oh, right, our nanite processor, correct. We do need that. That'll give me 56 beer? Oh, shit, we're getting drunk tonight. Or at least, like, this winter, anyway. You just have walk around drunk the entire time. Forget work. Uh, nanite processor, we talked about this earlier, that it's actually going to convert uh, metals and copper into nanites, which we need to rebuild stuff. We're down to 89 at the moment. Our population right now, 83. Unhappy colonists, zero. Very good. Very good. Air quality is amazing. Storage is still under the gun here. Food, look at that. We have 62.1 per colonist, so we're going to have like a bunch of fat colonists here pretty soon. Our food variety is also excellent, so I'm very happy about that. Water, as you can see, negative two. We're going to either need to set up another water pump soon because we are not doing too well with the water, but I'll focus on that later. Uh, let's go into Nanite Processor here really quickly, and we'll do Nanite Processor. Uh, to my understanding, you could be anywhere as long as you have power, right? Um, the... The, at least the drilling area is right here, so I do want to keep you kind of relatively close to that, so it kind of makes sense, like, you know, in a colony type of sp standpoint, you know? I don't want to have, like, um, say, this all the way, like, back here, and it's kind of like, well, why do you have it all the way back there when your metal resource area is right here, you know? It's like a long walk, Falcon. You kind of want to use your brain a little bit and kind of construct based on what's around you, otherwise, you know? Otherwise, civilization falls apart. Pure savagery is what I like to call it. Of course, I'm overthinking that. You can do it however you want to, but that's the way I'm. my brain kind of processes the entire thing here. Alright, so we got some beer. Very nice. Game, are you going to tell me about storage soon? Because I'm going to go ahead and make a storage myself we otherwise. Finally! Yeah, you took your sweet time telling me about this, so now we're going to get 19 soda? Ooh. By the way, soda requires you to actually manufacture it, so we'll need corn syrup in order to make soda down the line. Which is actually pretty cool, I want to say. But anyway. Um, mini storage. Right. So we're gonna come down over here, a mini storage, yeah, you want me to build that one and not that one. I know how you play. This requires six power, which, uh-oh, 84 of 87, guys, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh And it's probably on me because I've built extra stuff that the game doesn't want me to do just yet. I'm taking, you know, my own steps over here. I don't follow the rules. Um, before we set up the storage, and how about we come really quickly here and do, might as well just go up to a solar panel too, because we have the nanites for it, I'm going to say. And I'm going to keep all my panels together, so place that right here. Drones, off you go to build that. And meanwhile, you build that, let's set up the mini storage. Um, I kind of want to place it right here because we do have the nanite processor and we have the drill, so basically it'll be a small little walk for them. So I don't mind it too much. Let's go ahead and get a different view here for a bit as well, you know? I mean, I prefer the overhead view, just because it lets me think stuff out, but at least meanwhile they build, we can just kind of take a little perusal. Very, very cool. Rewards available again. Let me get my 19 soda first. That better be diet, at least. Your progress is satisfactory. I've been authorized to provide your colony with a small reward. I'm glad you're enjoying Choose it. Choose wisely. I know, I got it. Um, so, Rice, we could get six immigrants as well. I would choose the immigrants because I do want more people in here, especially because we have, like, so much room for them now. But I'm going to soon be building the immigration center. So that should help us out. Right now, I want to have a lot of... Well, actually, did we pick up Rice last time? I think we did. Let's get the extra immigrants, and that's really good because since we have a lot of different things set up now, like over here, and we have like the drones and stuff like that, our workers are spread a little bit thin because we have extra centers for them to actually work at, as you can see. So the more people we have in these centers, the faster they'll produce. So over here, the efficiency down for the nanites is only at 33% because um, we're very low on people. So I'll take the extra immigrants instead, and then we'll get the immigration center pretty soon. So... I should have taken the food, but, you know, I feel like we actually do need a couple of extra workers here at the moment. And our water is actually now going up. That's because I think winter is almost probably coming to an end, I, I want to say. Alrighty, so here's the immigration. Eight nanites and 20 beer. 
Foster's Australian for beer. I'll be honest with you, I've never had a Foster's. Although growing up as a kid, I won't lie to you, the um the ads worked on me because I always remember that even as an adult now. Foster's Australian for beer. It was like a really big commercial when I was a kid. I'm telling you, man, those subliminal messages in the um, ads, dude. What can you do? Um, immigration Center, and we also have a trade hub. This over here will be for trading down the line. But for now, we need Immigration Center. So, um, where do I want you guys to land at? It's a very good question. I don't want you to be too close to here. I kind of want to have it, like, far off, and then we process you, and then kind of send you to the colony itself. So, maybe, like, next to this would not be a bad idea. And what I actually would want to do, maybe even skip. Because, um, well, I want to have, like, a, a hallway for them to kind of walk through, you know? Maybe right into the habitat? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. So how about we do like something like you all the way back here. And then I will connect you, my friend, down through here. Can I do two, two connections? Oh, you can. Oh, not, no, no, not that way. No, no. Just, just cancel that. Cancel that part. Yeah, we'll just do one hallway for now. <laughs> Don't get too excited here, Falcon. Um, all right, let's unpause. I didn't sec uh, check how much power that would actually take up for us, but um, I hope it'll be under the requirement that we do need it at. The water's now going up. Food? Uh-oh. Our food's now going down a little bit, but that's going to probably pick up once winter is completely over here. Oh, look! We have some immigrants coming aboard. Let's actually zoom in here really quickly and take an eye on this. We'll check out right here. Um, so meanwhile, 29 is beer. Cool. And we have our 29 annex. Excellent. Two missions available. We're quickly getting to the point where the air inside our, her our hermetically sealed colony will turn foul if we're not careful. The geothermal generator in particular will pollute the air fairly quickly. Place an intake fan to help filter the external atmosphere and bring oxygen to your colony. It's a good idea to place it as close to your geothermal as you can. You got it. So, um, close to this is what you're saying, right? Intake fan. As you can see right here, um, so far we're still good, but it's basically telling me to take a precaution on it so it doesn't be, doesn't bite me in the ass later on. So what I'm thinking we do is we just place this bad boy like right over here, and that'll work out. Right, we got that one. All right, let's see, crime overlay. <laughs> oh, so far no crime, good. Oh, you guys better not bring crime to my colony, man. Commute overlay. A little bit condensed over here. There's a commute penalty over here as well. Not too crazy about that. But everything else doesn't seem to be pretty good, so I'm happy about that. Um, let's get this um, commute out of the way here. Alrighty. And let's see what time is it. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode today, guys. I think we have shown off a little cool little feature so far. You can see the thing um, flying off. Hold up, let me unpause this. Later, buddy. I'll see you later. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're going to wrap it up here for this one, guys. I'll come back for at least one more episode, as I mentioned. If you're enjoying it, though, I want to keep this around as a series. Do let me know in the comments, and by leaving a like, and we'll definitely check it out keep going forward with it. Um, but I'll at least bring at least one more episode and show you a bit more of this progress here thus far. But um, pretty, pretty cool. I will catch you next time.